Good afternoon, Paddy David, at your service, here on the Pink and App, and possibly our other channels, because these are strange times. Um, it's Thursday afternoon, just approaching half one, and a little bit of reaction to the breaking news in the last 20 minutes or so, which is Norwich's season remains on hold, uh, and next earliest it will be recommencing is April the 30th, basically anybody who's unaware. 20 clubs, all our representatives at a Premier League meeting today, a video conference meeting obviously in the current climate uh, regarding gatherings to discuss um, where football professionally at the top end goes uh, given the ongoing spread of the coronavirus. The original holding position a week ago um, when last weekend's games were cancelled was uh, looked to resume on the weekend of April the 3rd. That's now been pushed back to at the earliest April the 30th um, and then the other key line in the statement released by the Premier League, the EFL, the FA, is that the FA's board have agreed to change their, their articles, um, enabling the current season to go beyond June the 1st. So essentially what they're saying is uh, that can go on indefinitely uh, and obviously the earliest expectation will be April the 30th, but I think the reality is sporting institutions at the minute are completely uh, beholden to where we are in terms of the public health um, and the government advice and if as all measures seem to indicate uh, the spike is yet to be reached in the UK then uh, I would imagine that's fairly optimistic and I think what they've given themselves is more uh, breathing space in terms of the football authorities um, but we're very much in a holding pattern and, uh, and that holding pattern has now been extended to April the 30th. I'm just going to uh, switch hands and because uh, I've got the actual statement I thought it'd probably be wor worth me reading that to you if you've not really seen it it's on pinken.com however if you wish to read it in full but essentially the statement from the FA the Premier League the EFL and the Women's Professional Game together with the PFA and the LMA the League Managers Association uh, reads as follows we understand we're in unprecedented times our thoughts with everyone affected by COVID-19 we are united on our commitment uh, to finding ways of resuming the 1920 season and ensuring all domestic and European club football and cup matches are played as soon as it is safe and possible to do so, which I think essentially is the nub of this. Um, we've collectively supported UEFA's decision, yet they met on Tuesday, their member associations remotely, of course, um, to push back the European Championships for a year. They then came out put a statement saying that would allow domestic uh, leagues to create a bit more space in the calendar. Um, the Premier League are acknowledging that and uh, it, as they say it gives an increased opportunity to maintain the integrity of each competition. Uh, this is the interesting bit. The FA's rules and regs state the season shall terminate no later than June the 1st and that each competition shall within the limit laid down by the FA determine the length of its own playing season. However the FA's board have agreed for this limit to be extended indefinitely for the 1920 season in relation to pro football. Um, additionally, we've collectively agreed the professional game in England will be further postponed until no earlier than April 30th. Um, unprecedented is a word we're all using quite often, uh, certainly in this line of work, and this is unprecedented. And it's no great surprise that this is where the footballing bodies have led us to this morning, this afternoon. Um, and all it means, I guess, essentially is uh, we continue to wait as a society as much as... Uh, the less uh, significant matter of uh, professional football in this country to see where the spread of the disease goes from here, the virus from here, um, the transmission rates, the death rate. Uh, you look around Europe, all the predictions are that it's only going to go up in the UK. So if that is the case, very hard, as I say, to see how football recommences professionally in England uh, around April the 30th. But that's where we are currently. Um, put a bit of a Norwich context on this City have reproduced the same uh, statement, that's on their official site now uh, but Daniel and his players are away from Colney until March the 24th at the earliest, that was the position um, prior to this statement, that might change now given that April the 3rd has become April the 30th um, but that was the original response from Norwich, uh, that their players all give individual training plans the majority uh, are just honkered up uh, around Norfolk and um, with one or two exceptions. One or two of the injured players were still going into Colney to do bits and pieces, was my understanding, but that probably will have to be rethought again, I would imagine, because uh, what potentially was going to be a month is now minimum two months, and I think we're all expecting, certainly I am, um, that 
when we get nearer to April 30th, we'll probably be in this situation again. So what we'll endeavour to do is when there is ever any news, we'll try and bring it to you, pinkin.com, uh, on all our channels. And obviously there is a, a space in these difficult times to do a few other bits and pieces of content, a bit of nostalgia, a bit... Uh, bit of a look back, a um, bit of a play on social media. We've been trying to do that. We'll continue to do that. Please support the channels um, and stay safe. Thanks for watching.